Are you seeing how cute this is? Look at these paintings. Oh, awesome. These are done by uh, the wonderful, awesome, most coolest person, Jamie Rowe, who is my uh, lead uh, over at ArenaNet. She is, oh, she's got this site called Let Me Draw Your Kids For You. And um, you, and ah, look at that. See, it's it's so different from, you know, seeing all the, uh, the Guild Wars stuff because it's like, yeah, cute. Uh, oh, look at that face. Um, and so if you're interested, you can go to her site. And if you're interested in um, getting one of those of your kids or whatever, um, feel free to... I mean, to me, each one of these is worth at least like $10,000. Anyway, so... Um, oh, God. I haven't seen... That's a new one. She's super good. Check this out. So let me draw your kids.com. And another thing is uh, I'm on this podcast for the Pencil Kings. Uh, I, I did a tutorial for them a while ago about how to draw figures and then another tutorial about doing character design. And this podcast is, uh, I guess, couple, two an hour, 40 minutes, something. And um, basically I go over on, on what it's like being a concept artist, how to, uh, like kind of what the journey is. And uh, apparently I said this quote that I just don't remember. And it's, uh, there's definitely beautiful magic out there for everyone. You just have to access it by eliminating all the things that stopped it in the first place. That's a great quote, but I don't remember saying that. Um, so cool. Uh, check that out. And I'll be putting the link in both of these in my description as well as the, the tutorials I did for them. All right. Audacity. Don't you know the orcs are coming? They're here. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's press play on the video. Uh, so congrats on the dudes that won um, the... the, the, the contest drawing stuff. Uh, one of them's in Australia, the other's in Germany, so that'll be fun to send that out. I'll be sending that stuff out immediately. Where? Okay, so. <sighs> Lots of stuff happening. Look at that orc. So you see me drawing with a mechanical pencil. Uh, somebody had asked me, um, why is it bad to use a mechanical pencil or something? Um, because in the last Orcs video, I was talking about how uh, when I showed Ian McKegg my sketchbook, I, sh I told him that I used a, a mechanical pencil. He's like, what? No way, blah, blah, blah. Um, so um, it's not that it's bad, but it's just with other pencils, you have a wider, you know, thing so you can get a really wide brush stroke, if you will, but well, pencil stroke. So with most mechanical pencils, if they're like a five millimeter inch, which is really small, you can't, I mean, I guess, well, you could, but uh, it's not easy to get a wide stroke. But I've just adapted and, and I angle my pencil in such a way that I can get a wide stroke. So that answers that question for you. Um, all right, so this is the second drawing um, that uh, that was part of the raffle, the raffle thingamajig. Um, I'm doing more stuff. I, I know some people are asking about the guitars. I'll be playing a little bit of guitar for you. Um, any requests for for songs? Then that's throw that out there. Um, what else? What else is new? Um, I think. Uh, see, when I was drawing that girl, it was that's definitely an elf, you know. <laughs> but you know, d just because I I wrote, you know, this is a drawing orcs video, it doesn't have to be all orcs like okay throw whatever you want in there because it's an organic process and when you're in the zone you're in the creative zone you're kind of letting things flow and if you're gonna be like start drawing like a girl like that I'm like oh wait I people are gonna be upset because it's not an orc I'm not gonna be like stopping it because it's cool it's like yeah I like how it looks and keep going with it and so yeah that's that that is that um, so I was like drawing sort of like feathers coming out of her hair <laughs> and because uh, it, it's always cool when you you add some kind of headdress stuff and it, it looks all elaborate and elegant um, and stuff. It looks like I'm just trying to look for things to talk about, which I am. I mean, that's what this is all about. We're trying to. Oh, oh, look at that! So right there, I'm drawing a little skull to represent the dude on the left because if you understand the form of the dude or whatever it is that you're drawing, you can kind of. Uh, understand how the lighting works and why things are the way they are. Um, 
Yeah, and so, oh look at that. Okay, so this is where I draw the dude that's like holding a sword and he's standing. So I haven't drawn any figures yet except for this and I guess I'll have to do a tutorial on because I could just kind of point things out but it's so much more efficient if I have a, a, a video that's geared towards specifically teaching something um, but there, you know I'm putting him in a pose I'm, I'm drawing him sort of in, in a perspective and I'm doing an implied perspective uh, by that I mean if you look at the bottom part of his rib cage which is that curve uh, it's it's like uh, almost an ellipse so it's like it well, if it's curved up it's like we're looking from below upward and vice versa and uh, yeah oh right there so I'm drawing the axe and I'm I wanted it to be symmetrical somewhat so I did that little box and I make sure I made sure it was equal on both sides and from that you can establish symmetry and uh, yeah so then the next tutorial I'm working on so somebody else, had reminded me that in one of my videos <coughs> I said I was gonna do a hair tutorial and that's that's next I mean why not right uh, I'm, I'm thinking about doing female hair so it's gonna be female hair tutorial and I'm gonna start with I, I don't know it's hard to categorize but because um, there's so many different hairstyles that exist right and you kind of have to categorize it and tackle each uh, group uh, so it makes sense and I'm thinking to start with like short hair which is like includes like pixie uh, haircuts or um, like fairy you know like the, the, the short hairstyles and get a series of those going and then and then another category would be like hair that's tied back or tied in, in a certain way with like braids coming up um, and then there's like long hair and then curly hair straight hair and I, I don't know if I could cram all that into one tutorial maybe I'll see what I can do um, but Basically, what I'm committed to is whatever it is that I'm talking about, whatever it is that I'm teaching, I'm going to make it, <laughs> as usual, very easy to understand. And that's my whole like creed. Like, why wouldn't you make it easy to understand? Um, oh, look at this. So, using real reference, I'm, I picked up a uh, pen case, and I want to know how the fingers wrap around uh, if you're holding like a sword or hilt. So, I'm going to use that for the orc. Um, and the reason I'm drawing it on the side and not directly on the orc is because I'm doing the study so I can understand it and then interpret it again when I'm actually drawing the orc hand. Um, anyway, that's a lot of words. It's a lot of um, things happening from my mouth, words happening. Um, and yeah, I also did that again in the, the next drawing above it. Um, anyway, I'm sort of hyper. I think I... Uh, I've been running around and I, I did have coffee, but let's have a little moment to slow down and uh, let the silence kind of uh, serve as a little break. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I'm reading, listening actually to an audiobook. It's really cool. If there are any of you who like sci fi, there's a book called Seven Eves by Neil Stevenson. It's so, it's so awesome. Um, it's a bit slow paced at first, but it's about um, something that happens to the moon, which causes a, basically, I don't want to spoil anything, but it's a really cool sci-fi uh, story. Basically, humans have two years to live on this planet. you got to figure out a way to get off of it or get in it. I don't know. I'm in, still in the first chapter or so, it, or a few, few first few chapters. It's really cool. I just want to... Uh, go into the comments. Um, 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 I was really happy to read all the different places that everybody was from. I mean, uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, we got people from uh, you know, Russia, Uruguay, Argen Ar Argentina, Argentina, whatever, um, Germany. There was a lot of people from Germany. Um, okay, Russia. <laughs> There's like Russian text. I have no idea what that says. It's a backwards R in there. I don't even know if that is R. And then um, Germany, Hawaii. Um, Kingston Waller asks, do you animate, Ahmed? If if you can, you show us. <laughs> uh, there's something with your syntax and the way you're wording that. If you can, you show us. It's like a command. Anyway, I don't animate, not yet. I don't, I've always wanted to. I've always been fascinated by uh, the, the Disney animators, especially for Aladdin and Jasmine. 
um, back when I watched the behind the scenes and they would like lift a piece of paper but I know um, there's also 3D animation I'm intrigued but I don't know how to do it so I can't uh, some people from Taiwan like Sad Burrito um, thank you all for your comments New Hampshire like Megan Ouellette and uh, where else Quebec Quebec Bonjour from Canada um, so uh, <laughs> XX Lara Croft XX says all my guys look like girls and all my girls look like guys it kind of puts me off when people say that this helped me so much thank you you're welcome but if all your guys look like girls and girls look like guys just when you draw a girl just call it a guy <laughs> I don't know that way it's I don't know whatever um, so we there how to be whatever Saudi Arabia I know I've been Americanized um Born in France, living in Switzerland, says Alex. Ashley Fletcher from Australia. Kakarat from Philippines. Sweden. We got... Um, sorry if I don't say your names. Oh, we got another person from Canada, Ontario. Czech Republic. Uh, South Arizona, the pit of hell, as Katie Hawkins says. I've never been to Arizona. Um, it was close to where I used to live. Oh, well, not really. I was in California, but it was closer than... When I was in Ohio, we got France, Australia, Hong Kong, Bahrain, uh, or Bahrain, 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 uh, Switzerland, um, Poland, Australia again. Man, this is cool. Like, you, who would have thought that one day I'd be making like drawings, and for some reason people like them, and then from all around the world and they're all like yo what's up uh Kyle Moore from Ohio OH I heard it uh <laughs> all right Tobago yeah Santiago Ibarra says do the goddamn British voice so first of all I don't really know what it is you're talking about I can't really do it it's sort of offensive to those who are from the UK it's not really fair do you know what I mean <laughs> I was wondering, maybe I'd do an entire episode uh, in sort of a different accent, whacked on as, as something else, but I, I don't really know. Um, no, I, I don't really know. So, do you know what I mean? That's all I got. Um, I got tons of characters. Is it, when, I'm, when I'm driving in the car, when I'm going to work, when I'm just chilling, I, uh, I talk to myself, like, a lot. Like, in so many different voices. You know, I got... You know, sm you know, stupid, filthy habits. They stole the press. You know, go Gollum, Smeagol, right? And hey, she, Bill, Bill, Buckins, she, Jing, yeah, right, yeah. So you know, Gandalf. But it's like, I'll take those voices and put them in absurd scenarios. Maybe I'll put, start recording myself in the car. I don't know. Um, anyway, more people. Is uh, Sam Abla from Lebanon. <sighs> Morocco, Maghreb, that's pretty cool. New Jersey. <laughs> um, Bentacles K says he's from New Jersey. Sorry, I'm unoriginal. I don't know, it's not that it's unoriginal. It's just like, I've never, I have been in New Jersey. Wait a second. Yeah, I was staying at my friend's house and we would go over the, uh, along the way to go to, what's the place? Uh, Manhattan. Yeah, so I have been there. But that doesn't make you unoriginal. Right. Anyway, Canary Islands. That's cool. Another Ar Argentina. Argentina. Yeah, there we go. Um, anyway, I'm not going to keep reading. Oh, New Zealand. That's cool. Kiwis. So, yeah. Um, life is going crazy, man. I, uh... Yeah. I'll be, go I'll be doing more... Um, a lot of you have come to this channel for tutorials and to learn things. And um, I'm sorry if I've deviated too far from that, but I do plan to uh, just go massive action and a bunch of tutorials for you guys. And because, um, like I said, I, I feel like I uh, should be sharing this stuff. It's like you might as well, you know. There were, oh, so when I was at the Ian McKay Schoolism Workshop, there's something that he said that kind of stuck with me. And he was talking to a bunch of people. Uh, at the end, and he's 
talking about his process and how amazing it is about being an artist and anyone can do it. It's, it's a it's a wonderful thing to be creative and anyone can have an imagination and dream. But he, he followed up saying the most important thing, the most important aspect of being an artist is when you when you get there, you complete the circle by teaching it and sharing it with other people. Um, and, it, and that just makes it all, all the more beautiful in so many different ways. And so I, I thought that was a really profound thing. What a cool guy. I mean, I have his book right here. This is the book I was talking about, Shadowline. Ah, oh, so good. You know, look, look at these little storyboard drawings. Like, what? So good. Um, and he has these little packets in here that with like his own little tutorials and you can like take them out and okay well I'm not gonna take that out but um, yeah man he's he's really one of a kind um, look at that look at that owl are you, are you seeing that owl oh, that's an owl oh oh um, what's her name Pandister, I, I don't know, what, I forgot what her actual name is on here. She did a wonderful <laughs> fan art portrait of me with, with a Squidward face. Okay. Um, thank you. That was great. Um, yeah. All right. Well, that, that about wraps it up because uh, I have to move a bunch of stuff to the other place. And, uh, <laughs> bear with me, you know what I'm saying? Uh if you um, want to stick around, it's hit, just look at that subscribe button. You don't have to click it, but if you choose to, just, you know, just kapow, just punch that script subscribe button in the face and be like, done, you've been subscribed to Mr. Ahmed al -Duri. All right, this has been a, a fun session, and over and out, click.